Okay, shalom, shalom. Kum yasha Allah. Koholimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakahakodash. To my honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water toward the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is in Fortune, the business section. Jamie Dimon believes U.S. public debt is the most predictable crisis the, the economy faces. And yet, in just three months, America has added $2.1 to its tab. God damn, boy, a lot of money. Let me get to the point here. Um, it says, currently, America's national debt stands at... 34.7 trillion though the figure itself is not what has so many economists worried instead experts are concerned about america's debt to gdp ratio which indicates how much the country owes versus what it produces and thus how how able it is to pay it back the cpo didn't have stellar news on that account either it reported debt held by the public will rise from 99 percent of gdp this year to 122 percent by 2034 man we ain't looking to go to no 2034 man out here man we looking for this place to just you know crumble within this next year to two years man you know we, we ready to get the hell out of here it says surpassing its previous high of 106 percent in 1946 at the end of the second world war and war is once again one of the major factors contributing to America's ongoing outlays, the CBO adds, the largest contributor to the com cumulative, com cumulative increase was the incor incorporation of recently enacted legislation, which added $1.6 to to pro um, projected deficits. That legislation included emergency supplemental appropriations that provided $95 billion for aid to Ukraine, Israel and, and countries in the Indo-Pacific region. On top of the initial legislative hit is the ongoing funding obligations. America is legally required to uphold boosting outlays by $900 billion through to 2034. While financial support to nations to, at war forms a chunk of the increase between February 2024 project, projections and this month's other obligations form the crooks of America's tab. What the CBO defines as mandatory spending includes likes of Medicare, Social Security, as well as um, defense spending and unemployment compensation. The CBO, the CBO wrote, the aging of population caused the numbers of beneficiaries of Social Security and Medicare to grow faster than the overall population. In addition, federal costs per beneficiary for the major health care programs continue to rise faster than GDP per person. As a result of those two trends, <laughs> outlays for Social Security and Medicare increase in relation to GDP from, hey man, this shit is through, man. This place is done. Experts remain divided on how much of an issue public debt will prove to be, and it comes down to how necessary they believe the spending is and their outlook for the economy moving forward. <laughs> Those on the bullish end are hopeful that an uptick in economic growth will offset the debt and interest payments going forward. They also add that the vast majority of spending in recent years under various political parties has been absolutely critical for the country to navigate the likes of coronavirus pandemic. Uh, anyway, you get the point, man. I don't even need to even go no further, man. It's... Uh, Okay, this Professor Joe Goings, if I'm pronouncing the name right, the Vice Dean of Research at the University of Pennsylvania, Wharton School, has long warned of the severe and probably irreversible scars of our economy and society if federal spending continues unchecked. Look, man, this place is not coming back. It's not coming back, man. It just is what it is. I mean, it's time for America to fall. And we're, we're actually witnessing that. Let me get that. We're witnessing the fall of our enemy. But they got this money to, to spend everywhere, man, except for handling business, man. I mean, it's, 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 it just don't make no sense, really. You, you, you can't help but think that this is by design or we know that it's by design. 
There's no way you can be that stupid and you're supposed to be all these professional college grads. You went to college, you, you've done all these things, you got all these, you know, PhDs and fucking degrees and, you know, and you, you go into that. I mean, the average silly person that don't even really handle money well wouldn't go into that kind of debt. You know, they, they at least got sense enough to, you know, uh, uh, pay the damn bills. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. Anyway. But this is the fall of um, Esau's kingdom, man. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7, there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing, man, the fall of our enemy. I had somebody tell me, um, I think it was yesterday, well, if America fall, so do you. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, look, I'll take the L. I don't give a fuck. Cause I know the reward on the back end, but you just gonna fall with America, and and, and you just gonna you're gonna suffer right along with your your American um way, man. You know, cause these Edomites they get you know they get pissed when you um are not on page with their bullshit. They just expect you see they they really what I'm starting to realize is they just expect every Negro to just be stupid as hell. That's why this truth hurts hurts them so bad. They can't believe that, that they are actually so-called black men that, that are not with your bullshit. Like, man, we want your shit to fall. How dare you? How, why? We're all one people. We're all the same blood and all that bullshit. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Well, what about your children? I even met my dad. You know, my dad, because, <laughs> you know, I kind of kick it. Well, well, I used to kick it with him here and there, but, you know, certain things. I'm like, shit, man, I'd be glad when America falls, shit. I want America to get nuked. Well, why would you want that? You got nieces and nephews and, you know, your family and you would be I'm like, man, look, I'm thinking about America carrying on and you shouldn't be thinking about it neither. But, you know, hey, Jake, uh, 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 you know, Jake is through out here on that uh, in that area. Like, for real, for real, like, you know, but my old my dad, you know, they from the old school neighbor I got next to me. You know what I'm saying? He'd be talking about a bunch of. You know, he believes in America shit, too. You know, all that old happy holidays. Every time I come out the house and it's a holiday, he yelling happy holidays. And I have to tell him every single time, like, man, I don't celebrate American holidays. I guess he's older. He might be forgetting or I, I really, really be thinking he'd be taunting me. I'm Salakia. Okay, yeah, Salakia had to take that call. I'm at the plantation. But, hey, we're watching the, the fall of our enemies right now, man. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you can see the stress on people's face. No, I got one um Edomite that I work with. He's an older Edomite. You know what I'm saying? Like he he actually knows that they come in with the chip. <laughs> you know, he might not even be an Edomite. I don't know, man. You know, yeah, but you know, he he got that vibe of an Edomite because Edomites do know. Edomites know that that money is about to fall. They understand that, you know, um, especially from his age, because, you know, he's really into banking. You know, the older, older Edomites, they be really. They come from the from the days and times when a penny meant something, goddammit. They'll pick a penny up off the ground in a minute if they see it. So he come from that that status, you know, and he, you know, he has a nice little little crib off the river. He saved up some money for his, you know, grandkids and shit to go to college, which he blew through. <laughs> you know, during the, the pandemic and shit. He had to blow through that money, you know, and he had to come out of retirement. So, but he be talking about certain stuff. But you know, I, I be one, you know, he'll conversate. He'll ask me certain questions because, you know, I'm in the geopolitics and I try and be easy with him. You know, I don't want to go too far off and too stuff with him. But he, he pretty much knows that um, America is in a shit place. He, I can see the way that he <laughs> he talks about it and he'd be sad about it, too. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just kind of, you know, play it off because it's only so much that I can actually say to him, you know, or at least at the plantation. Like, you know, but it, it gives me joy, man. It gives me joy to watch these motherfuckers squirm. Fuck them. You know, I mean, come on, man. Hey, you were able to live luxuriously. Just like I said, you know, hey, he, you know, he, he's, he made good money. He made real good money, you know, bought um, land and motherfuckers live off the river. You know, got them big ass yards where you need a damn tractor. He, you know, he, he don't have no regular lawnmower, not even a regular rod more. He got like a tractor. Um, you know, with a damn bush hog on the back, <laughs> you know, that's how big, the but see, that's how they've been living. So now 
all the all the funds is being sucked sucked up because they have to you know this economy is not treating them like it used to you know that dollar not going not not going as far as it used to go so well let me get this here real quick um habakkuk two and let me see i'll start at verse four here it says behold his soul which is lifted up is not up let me see let me start at verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these, these prophecies, man, they come in the past. You know? Because it may seem like, oh, this shit not happening fast enough. But it's actually happening. <laughs> Everything is moving on schedule. See, you got to, the, Lord, the Lord's prophecies are perfect. You can't force it. You can't rewind it. You can't forward it, you know? It's on play and it's just playing. It says, behold, his soul, which is lifted up in him. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. See, this man's soul, man, hey, he's not right. But we live by faith. We live by faith that this, these, these scriptures are going to come to pass. We know that they are. We live by faith, man, not by sight. We understand the scriptures. The Lord has given us the, 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 the foreknowledge into the future of this place, and it's through. We have faith in that. It says, yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarging his hips desire is hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right? So this is what he has been doing. But now people are starting to pull away. Those curses are starting to hit them. The people are starting to pull away. A lot of these countries that would normally be down with America, they joining BRICS. They joining the BRICS nations. So what are these BRICS nations doing? These BRICS nations, they, they're trading and doing business in their own, um, um, you know, money. Their own, you know, um, 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 currency. Because before America was forcing everybody to buy oil in, in the dollar. But since um, that 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 uh, uh, the petrodollar um, deal was not renewed by the Saudis, that that shit is out the window. They uh, now the Saudis they can they can trade they can sell oil in anybody's currency now. Any of these countries before they basically transferred their money into dollars, American dollars. And they would have to buy in dollars. That's what made the dollar so important. That's why America really was out here shining, you know, on, on top of the hill. But now these countries is like, uh, well, no, we're tired of your sanctions. We're tired of you um, being able to control every single damn country in the world with your dollar. So we're going to get rid of your dollar. We don't want to deal with your dollar no more. A lot of debt is being sold off. These other countries, man, they they get they 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 ready to get the fuck away from America, and they and they're doing it. So it goes on to say, shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his? How long? And to him that laden himself with thick clay, and that thick clay goes off into um great debt, man. There's no way this country should be in, this, in the debt that they're in. But, of course, you know, that hey, the, the elite of the so-called white man, they have conquered the world, man. And, and, and they got everybody in fucking debt, really. It's only a few countries that's kind of hanging on, you know, that that's not dealing with a World Bank type of deal. But, man, America is never getting out of debt. I was listening to. Rid of debt. Money. The point. Now what he's trying to do? What he wants to damn implant your ass? It's not gonna be no more, you know. Say, for instance, I was thinking about this earlier. Say, for instance, 
when they go all straight digital and there is no more dollars because that's what it's all boiling down to anyway. And they start to basically implant people with, uh, uh, you know, these things, right? Well, you know, where all your, your medical information is on it. You know, your, your banking is on it. Your damn last dentist visit <laughs> is on it. But anyway, say for instance, there's no more dollars out here and you loan somebody, uh, you know, or you give somebody $200, If you give them that two hundred dollars and, and, and see the government, they're going to know when you gave the two hundred dollars. They're going to know who you gave the two hundred dollars to. Guess what? They're going to tax that two hundred dollars. It's almost like on Western Union, you know, Western Union, you know, if you've ever used it. I used to use it back in the days. You know, a lot of people don't do stuff like that no more, but some people still do. They still use those services. But back in the days, you know, you know, with Western Union, you know, it's basically if you if you wanted to send a hundred dollars to somebody, Western Union would I don't know how much they charge now, but you know they might hundred dollars they might charge you ten dollars to send that hundred dollars. So this is what um 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 Esau Edom, the so called white man, is gonna do with that that chippity chip chip. So if you get twenty dollars from somebody, Esau gonna want to cut it at, and he gonna get it. He gonna take that shit right out of you. It ain't gonna be no um you know. No waiting um, when it comes to that. Up, oh, such and such just transfer, such and such to such and such. We're going to get our cut. They're going to know exactly when it was done, what day it was done on, down to the millisecond. Whether or not you had a cheeseburger before you gave it. He went to McDonald's. He went to, you know what I'm saying? This, this man, he wants to be all knowing and all seeing, man. And it's doing nothing, but he, you know, he he's really backing himself into a real fucked up corner man and we love it too <laughs> verse 7 shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shall be for booties unto them <laughs> because thou hast spoiled many nations all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein and hey man hey these 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 countries, man, they they ready to pounce on America. They ready to pounce on America. And the world is just sick of Edomites in general. It don't make no difference whether they're Americans or they're Russians or Ukrainians, whatever the case may be. The world is is pretty sick of um, uh, you goddamn Edomites, man, because y'all y'all running everything into the ground. You got everybody all stressed out. The people are not having fun anymore. They're, the mirth is gone. But well, that's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. We already know what's up. So this place got to fall. And this is one of the way that ways that it's going to fall. Right here. This goddamn money. But this is going to, you know, it's going to come to a point where E going to be like, uh, well. Because they got to do something. What they going to do? Esau is ruthless, man. This motherfucker is ruthless. He don't, get, he don't care. What you think he's going to do when all these countries say, nope, we're not using the dollar no more? What do you think America going to do with the same shit they've been doing? <laughs> starting wars, you know, starting some bullshit. You know, throwing a rock, putting his hand behind his back like up. Oh, it wasn't me causing disruption over here. So you don't look over there. World War Three, man. And overall, like I said, again, all this right here is just leading up to the MOTB. Look at these, these, these motherfuckers, man. That big red guy in the background back there, the same color as his goddamn tie. Esau, the red man. The world is, can't have no peace with this man running it, man. He has found a way to, 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 to corner the market on every goddamn thing. Motherfucker charged for everything, bro. Everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, it, it costs. And it's costing dearly now. And, and, and his own people are starting to really feel the, the crunch of it, man. <laughs> and they're not looking well. I'm, I'm at the plantation right now. I'm telling you. I'll be looking at these old, these, uh, hey, man, they, and they, 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 the, they the same age as these men you see right here in this picture right here. About two, three hundred of them. All walking around, crumped up, you know, slumped all over. Knees and shit bad, but they got to come back. They had to come back to work. Why? 
because that money done ran out. They done ran through all their savings. They done ran through the 401ks. They run through, you know, shit just ain't been going well for them over these past couple of years, man. The Lord been stripping them, man. So, hey, man, it's a beautiful thing, man. We're living in beautiful times. So don't be all surprised, man, if you ever wake up and, and there's no money in your bank account. Everything that you ever had is just zapped. Don't, we can't be tripping on that. We 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 have to have a mindset of expecting that shit because it can happen in any, you know, any day. This man, he's he's talking about hacking. He's talking about um, blackouts. He could easily turn shit off and, 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 and have everybody wake up tomorrow with no money in their bank accounts and motherfuckers going to be going nuts. Then what are they going to do? They're going to create the K, you know, create the chaos. And then they're going to give you that that problem solving. Oh, we got y'all. We, we know what to do. Come on down. You know, we're going to have to log everybody. <laughs> like for real. Hey, things getting man. Things about to get nasty out here, man. Beautiful times we living in. You know, it's scary, but hey, shit got to happen, man. It's got to happen. They, they talking about 2034, man. 2034. Man, I pray, man, we're not here to 2034, man. I, I really do. I'm not that we can't, man. Fuck that. <laughs> the Lord said he was short the days for the elect's sake. <laughs> Please. We don't want another 10, he 10 years of, of Esau Edom's bullshit, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.